Hi everyone, thank you for joining us on this channel. I remain yours, Theophilus Ashedu from Causes Nigeria Limited. Still on the topic equalization, today we would like to speak about the types of EQ that we have. Basically, we have two types of EQ the graphic EQ and the parametric EQ. The graphic EQ comes in various types. We have the ones that come in 9 bandwidth, we have the ones that come in 15, and we have those that come in 31. The parametric EQ are those you will find on your typical analog board or your digital board. Here, I will be showing you the types of EQ and how they are um, different from each other. Here, I have a typical 31 bandwidth graphic equalizer. We have um, here some adjustable frequencies and then your faders to adjust the gain of those frequencies you want to affect. The graphic equalizer has a pre-configured Q factor. Q factor in this context is how much of the frequencies you want to affect at the time. With the graphic equalizer, you can only choose to affect a few of it. However, the parametric EQ on the other hand gives you the ability to adjust as much as possible the frequencies at a time, which is a good use of your Q factor. Here we have a typical analog board. This is a Yamaha 16 channel mixer, which comes with pre-configured parametric equalizer. You have the fader to adjust the high frequencies. You have another one to adjust the mid frequency, and also another one to sweep between the frequencies as you may like. And then you have a last fader to adjust the low frequencies. On the digital board here, you can adjust those frequencies as I have mentioned on the analog board. However, you have the options of a graphic equalizer and also a parametric equalizer. Here on the screen, you can see a graphic equalizer being displayed. You can adjust the frequencies as you may like. And also, you have a parametric EQ. You can also adjust the frequencies and sweep them to get that particular frequency you want to work with. The beauty about the digital board is you can choose a particular frequency and adjust how much of it you want to effect at a time. Join us on our next episode where we teach you how to EQ a microphone. Feel free to come by our showroom to pick one of these for your church, for your studio and also for your sound school. Thank you and see you some other time.